The government has once again hinted that Bank Indonesia may lower its benchmark interest rate on the back of falling inflation. Comments from the central bank, however, have suggested it's focused on keeping the rupiah stable against the dollar, but they've kept the door open to a potential cut. Vice President Yusuf Kala has sent another signal to the central bank to cut its interest rate from 7.5 percent, a level it has held since it dropped 25 basis points in February. Kala says a cut is much needed to boost investment, especially in the capital markets. Business groups have long been calling for a cut. Yes, I kira kena inflasi kita sudah turun, juga ekonomi sedikit lebih baikkan, otomatis langkah yang terbaik sama dengan dia lakukan di semua negara yang mengalami ini, otomatis pada waktunya bi rate bisa. Bunga pada umumnya lah, otomatis. Ya nanti tergantung kita konsultasi dengan bi. Coordinating Economy Minister Darmin Nasution has also sent the same signal. Darmin says there is room for BI to lower its rate. Now the gap between interest and inflation is almost 4 percent. He says holding it steady is holding potential investors back. Meanwhile, Bank Indonesia Governor Agus Martowardoyo has said once the monetary authority is confident about the rupiah's stability, a rate cut could be on the agenda. Up to now, the BI has held its ground even since the rupiah started stabilizing again after its epic decline this year. And it's warning that the dollar could still strengthen up to 10 percent against world majors in line with the U.S. central bank's own moves. Speculation about when the Federal Reserve would hike interest rates has driven wild currency fluctuations for the past 18 months. It now looks like the first increase may come in December based on comments from Fed officials, U.S. economic data and falling unemployment. The Bank Indonesia's Board of Governors meets on Tuesday, November 17th.